Welcome to Baseball News Club. Today we're going to highlight the 60 game schedule for Major League Baseball. Before we start, please subscribe, follow us on Instagram or Twitter. Also, like the video, please make a comment. And finally, click the bell and then also activate your notifications on your cell phone. You guys still coming back for these vlogs? I know you're surprised, like, wow, another vlog, like a couple of these later after other vlog. Listen, there's so much going on with baseball right now. It's, it's hard to keep up with it because there's a lot of unknowns and knowns. One of the great things that's happening right now is the realignment of the divisions because of regional travel and stuff like that, which totally makes sense. There's a ton of safety protocols going into effect to keep the players safe. You know, there's a lot of bookies. There's a lot of uh, owners and scouts. Everyone's pulling their hair out of their head right now because they're trying to figure out how this is going to work, how you're going to have an advantage against in your division. The way the divisions are is they're going to be regional. Major League Baseball is basically saying that we're going to keep the East playing the East, Central, Central, West, West. Uh, you're going to have a few games outside of that to play amongst the other divisions, but for the most part, you're going to be playing teams you don't normally play um, as often, you know, unless it's interleague. And it reminds me of spring training. Spring training, you always see the best teams and the worst teams with crazy records. I have a feeling this might apply. If you think about it, it makes sense. It's not the same theme, but... When you look at it on a scale like that, there's a lot of unknown when you have spring training with minor leaguers playing with major leaguers in scouting reports. It's just, it's a different style of baseball. It reminds me of what I think will happen this season. World Baseball Classic. Yeah, I've got the inaugural hat. Yeah, I'm a baseball nerd. I made sure I got this right away. I absolutely love the World Baseball Classic. I think it's the greatest thing Major League Baseball has brought about because unlike other sports, um, I think basketball similar, you know, golf, but Major League Baseball, which differs itself from NFL, is everyone in the world can play. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. It is across the board the greatest sport for everyone. World Baseball Classic it took four different tournaments for the United States to actually show up. I think people didn't realize is when you're allowed to play for your own country, it brought a whole different competitive field. And what I'm trying to say is, this is the same unknown going into this season. We don't know how this realignment of divisions, we don't know how this is all gonna pan out. We don't know how these teams that normally can't compete 162 games will compete in 60. It's a big unknown. But I compare it to Major League Baseball's World Baseball Classic because the United States couldn't figure it out for years. They weren't even a footnote in the first three seasons pretty much because they couldn't figure out how to be competitive because imagine you being able to come into Major League Spring Training and before this season starts, you're like, I want to play for the Pirates this year. I want to play for this team. And you're allowed to pick what team you're on. Now, I know this isn't the same. I'm not saying this is the same thing as what's going on in the 60-game season. I'm saying there's going to be this unknown. Now, I'm not saying the 60-game schedule is going to be like Spring Training or World Baseball Classic, but what I'm saying is there's this percentage of an unknown factor that the best scouts, the best coaches, the best players and teams will not be able to be ready for because there's just too much unknown okay you've got to re remember that in major league baseball each division each team in that division your primarily your roster is designed to play more against the teams in your division you're also designed to play everyone else but you're going to bring in certain players to beat those division teams so it could put you in a playoff contention so what i'm saying is with this weird regional format and weird division setup there's going to be a lot of unknown, and I, I really think that's going to, some teams are going to um, struggle with that. And I really think that we're going to have a surprise playoff format. I, I swear, there's going to be some teams in there that are going to be like, what are they doing in there? That's going to make it exciting. I was giving an example of World Baseball Classic and Interleague just to illustrate a point that there's going to be a lot of unknown. In fact, we don't even have the schedules yet as of today. So a lot of unknowns, a lot of exciting things. Um... Let me see what I'm forgetting here. I think that's it. So, anyways, thank you for watching Baseball News Club. Please help us grow and subscribe. And I promise as we grow, the quality of videos will get better. Because as we grow and we can bring in more profit, we're going to make much better videos. We're going to have interviews. We're going to have a lot of fun stuff. Anyways, please subscribe. Please like. Please check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And have yourself a great day. Mm -hmm.